Hey everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama filming in the warehouse today because I wanted to show you uh, a brand new line of products that we carry here at The Sensible Mama. I'm going to go ahead and give a trigger warning in case you have not seen from the title. In this video today, I'm going to be talking about non-lethal self-defense mechanisms for women and moms or dads too to carry with them on the go. Even though these are non-lethal, these are still products that are intended to inflict harm in order to keep you safe. So if that is something that you're not comfortable with, go ahead and click out of the video now. No hard feelings, this kind of topic isn't for everyone. The reason why I wanted to bring this brand to The Sensible Mama is that we are all about empowering women. And in order to feel empowered, you have to feel safe. There's been some alarming data coming out recently that have shown that 97% of women have been made to feel unsafe or have actually been assaulted while out on the go. And although I'm not here to try to elicit fear in anyone, but I do think that it's important to talk about this topic, especially if you're someone who would just like a little bit more peace of mind while you're out on the go. Again, this might not be something that everyone would like to have, but if you want to have it, to have that peace of mind, we wanted to carry it at The Sensible Mama. So today I'm gonna to show you what some of these products are so that you can get an idea of if it's something that you might like to have and how it would be used. So with that said, let's just go ahead and hop right into today's video. I'm gonna start with one that's not even intended to cause damage or harm to anyone else. This is specifically meant to keep you safe inside of your car if you are to be submerged in water or in fire. This is called the Glamour Hammer. It is an escape hammer to keep inside the car. Inside of the packaging, you get the hammer plus this really cool little strap for putting this on top of your visor. That way uh, you don't lose track of this in case you need it. So let me show you what this does. Here is what the hammer looks like. So here on this end, you have a carbide steel point. This is intended to shatter your window, either on the driver's side or the passenger side. So in a situation where you need to get out of your car and you can't get your windows rolled down or the door open, this will smash the window. You just chuck it at the window like this and it will crack it. Now that might not get all of the glass out of your window, so the next thing to do is use this end. This is meant to clear away any of the shattered glass that's remaining inside the window so that you can exit safely. Down here is a recessed steel blade and this is for cutting your seat belts. So if you have jammed or locked seat belts and you need to get yourself or your kids or a passenger out of your car, you can use this to actually cut the seat belt and get yourself out. Of all the things that I'm gonna show you today, this is the thing that I just think everyone, man or woman, should have in their car. Um, you don't ever want to have to use it, but in the event that you need it, this is such an important thing to have. The next thing that I wanna show you are the personal alert charms. I have mine attached to the small piece of my Limea brand trifecta. Here's what they look like up close. You can keep these on your keychains or on the outside of your bag. Um, personally, I like to put these uh, attached to my waist belt when I'm roller skating because it helps me feel a little bit safer. But let me show you how it works. On the back side, you have two buttons. This one is just a flashlight, so let me show you this first. Press down this button, and now you get a light. So this will help you if you're in a dark space, or just practically, if you need to find something in the bottom of your bag, this will help you with that. This button here is for triggering the alarm. This alarm is not going to contact the police or anything like that. It is literally just meant to create a diversion or to frighten an attacker if they are to be coming near you to make them get away and to buy you a little bit more time. So I'm about to sound this off. Um, if you have headphones in, I suggest you take them out. Usually the camera tends to like temper the noise a little bit and it's not as loud on the video as it is in person, but just I wanna warn you anyway, this is, this is quite loud. So here it is. What I really like about this one compared to some other ones that I've seen before is that when you press this red button down, that sound doesn't turn off. Like you don't have to hold this button down to keep that sound going, which means that you can hit this and you can run and if this, you're not worrying about holding that button down to keep that noise happening. It only goes off when you push the button again which to me just gives me a sense of security if I'm really trying to scare someone away. I want them to feel like this is actually an alarm like what I have inside my warehouse that does contact the police. And I feel like if a person who's meaning to cause you harm sees that the noise stops when you take your finger off of it, it feels more like a whistle and less like an, an alert. So here it is again, still super cute and dainty. And we do also have it available in these super cute little bow charms as well. 
So those two items are ones that are not meant to cause any harm when you use them. They're just meant to either uh, get you out of a car safely or to trigger an alarm to get someone away and buy yourself some time. The next two that I'm going to show you are intended to cause harm. This one is a pepper spray keychain. This is half an ounce of pepper spray, which makes it legal in, I believe, most states, but definitely check the uh, legalities of your own state. And we have some disclaimers on our website as well. If you don't know what pepper spray is, it is a severe skin and eye irritant. The way that you use this as a self-defense mechanism is you shoot this at an assailant. You want to aim towards their face um, to have the maximum effect. The good thing about pepper spray is that it's only going to blind them temporarily and cause them to be seated. <laughs> like a person is gonna have a very hard time chasing after you if they have had pepper spray to the face. It creates um, temporary blindness and the fact that they really can't open their eyes very well. A lot of pouring of uh, water from the eyes and mucus from the nose. Um, and it will give you a significant amount of time to get away. And the other good thing about this product is that since it is non-lethal, if your children accidentally fire it or come in contact with it, it is going to cause a lot of pain and discomfort for them, but it is not going to be lethal to them. There is a locking mechanism on here. So as you can see, this red tab is what triggers the pepper spray to come out. When it's pushed over to this side, it cannot be fired. But once it moves over to this side, that is when you can then fire it and that comes out of this hole right here. You can hang this either on your bag or on your keychain. Just know that wherever you put it, um, this is not like a this is not like a safety uh, that you would see on a firearm. This can easily be slid over, uh, so you do want to make sure that you're being responsible, keeping this out of reach of children. Um, I would not personally recommend like attaching it to your diaper bag where the kids could access it easily. Um, so those are just things to think about based on your own comfort level. Just make sure you're being responsible with these because again, a child could move this over uh, if they wanted to. We have these available in several pretty colors right now. We've had many customers buying all of the colors, I'm assuming to give away as gifts, which I think is a really cool gift to give to a woman that you love. Um, and again, because they're non-lethal, they're something that you can carry with confidence if you're someone who is not interested in carrying a lethal self-defense mechanism. This last one is probably the one that's gonna make people the most uncomfy. This one is a stun gun. Again, it's by Bling Sting. Here's what it looks like up close. This is a rhinestone covered stun gun. If you don't know what a stun gun is, this is basically designed to generate an electric jolt. Uh, and when touched to the skin, it can cause a lot of pain and harm and discomfort to someone who is putting you in danger. I'm gonna read from the packaging here because I wanna make sure that I get this right. Um, a short blast with this, which is about one fourth of a second, will startle an attacker, cause minor muscle contractions and can have a repelling effect, as you can imagine. Um, a moderate blast, which is one to four seconds, can cause an attacker to fall and cause mental confusion. It may deter further attack, but they will be able to get up almost immediately. A full blast of five seconds or more can cause immobilization, disorientation, loss of balance, falling to the ground, weakness, uh, and a sense of being dazed or confused for several minutes. So I'm going to um, show you how this works. This is gonna make a loud flash and a loud spark. So navigate away. I'll put a timestamp here of where you should scroll to if you don't wanna witness this. So right here we have the on off switch. Once that's red, you know that this is active. This is the button that you push, which jolts the taser from here. So let me show you. Again, this is something that you do not want to have to use, but it does feel really nice to have it on hand if you need it. And the thing that I like a whole lot about this is it fits super nicely inside of these slip pockets inside of the large piece from the Limea brand Trifecta, which means I can keep it right here when I'm wearing this bag cross body. If I did feel that I was in danger, I can get to it very quickly. The other thing that I think is nice about this is that it does come with a wrist strap, which I recommend using if you have found yourself in a position where you feel that you need to have this out, use this wristless strap because this is what is going to keep someone from snatching it out of your hand um, if you were in an altercation. So guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for checking it out with me. I hope you found it useful and informative. If you want any of these items, they are all available at thesensiblemama.com, so I will leave a link down in the description box below for each of these things. Love ya, mean it, always, mwah, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.